If you were to look at a normal power supply that might go in your computer, you might see a number of different kinds of connectors on it. In this video, we're going to step through what all of these connectors might be and where you might plug them in on your motherboard. Our storage devices these days tend to be SATA connected devices. And you'll see on the back of the storage device that there's a connection for data and then a larger 15 pin connector for power. This is the 15 pin SATA connection. It includes voltages for 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts, although 3.3 volts is rarely used by these devices. But you can see it's a very specific type, and it's only going to fit into that SATA connection. A more generic power connector might be something like this Molex connector. It was one created by the Molex connector company, although there's other types made by other companies. Amp, for instance, makes the same connector called a mate in lock. And this will provide both 12 volts and 5 volts of power on a connection. It's very common to see the Molex connector used for many different components. You can plug it into storage devices, fans that are inside of your computer case, optical drives, and other peripherals as well. One connector you'll see on older motherboards might be this 4-pin ATX 12-volt connector. This is called an ATX12V Advanced Technology Extended Motherboard Connector. This provided some additional 12 volt power for these older motherboards, especially for powering the CPU. These connectors might be labeled ATXV12, they might say P4 on the side of them, or they might have a CPU marked on the edge of the connector. And they are keyed very specifically for the connector on the motherboard. If you're plugging in a four pin connector and it's not going into the connection, you may have the wrong connector for that motherboard. Another CPU power connector type is the 8-pin EPS 12-volt power connection. This is also called the EPS 12V cable. It stands for the Entry Level Power Supply Specification. You'll often see this provided from the power supply as what they call a 4 plus 4 connection, which means it has an ATX 12-volt 4-pin connection on one side that you can combine together to create the 8-pin EPS 12-volt power. This power connection was created to provide additional power, especially on systems that had multiple CPUs and needed the additional power for the processors themselves. This is eight pins or eight connectors, but this is not the same as a PCI Express eight pin connector. Those are two completely different kinds, and they are keyed differently. So you won't be able to plug the eight pin EPS into an eight pin PCI Express. Here's a good picture of the 4 plus 4 functionality. You've got the 4 pin that you would use for the ATX 12 volt, or you can combine this together to make it an 8 pin EPS 12 volt connector. You'll occasionally add an expansion card to your computer, and the expansion card needs additional power. So for those cases, we have the PCI Express 6-pin and 8-pin power connectors. The 6-pin power connector is a 75-watt connector, and the 8-pin power connector provides 150 watts of 12-volt power. It's very common to see these 6 or 8 pin power connectors on PCI Express adapters like video cards. The video cards have very powerful CPUs and need a lot of energy to be able to run them. Some cables will have a 6 or 8 pin modular connection. There's really two pieces so that you can use the same connector to plug into a 6 pin or you can combine them together to plug into an 8 pin connection. The connector that brings power from your power supply to the main motherboard power is probably the largest power connector that you'll see on the motherboard. This is providing 3.3 volts, 5 volts, and 12 volts of power to the motherboard. And you may see 20-pin connectors or 24-pin connectors. The 20-pin connector was the original one from the ATX standard. But when we added PCI Express, we needed additional power for the motherboard. So those motherboards will have 24-pin connectors. If you have an older motherboard but a newer power supply, you can still use that 24-pin connector on the power supply and plug in to the 20-pin motherboard. It's designed to be backwards compatible with those motherboard types. And connecting it is very easy. There's really only one way it can connect because each one of these power connectors is keyed a particular way. It should be relatively easy to find the main motherboard power. It's a relatively large connector. And you can see it's a similar type of connection 
and coming from the power supply inside of your computer. The two connectors should fit perfectly together, and if they aren't, you may have it turned around the wrong direction. It should be sliding in very easily into this main motherboard connection, and when you finally get it all the way down, it should snap into place. They usually have a lock on the sides so that you can't accidentally pull that power off of the motherboard.